Whatever the horror is, you're all willing to accept it because you're deriving so much pleasure. So then it's worth it. But it's not worth it if you're going to sit there and impose it. And that's what you're doing now. You're imposing it on people like me who will come to the realization that I'm on a shitty planet. This faculty of consciousness is going to be subjected to doing this over and over and over again. This is Groundhog Day. There's no way to get out of here. There's no way to kill yourself because yourself will be imposed again on another consciousness. Another consciousness will live a parallel life to your own, come to parallel realizations, be just as frustrated making YouTube videos saying, why are you assholes perpetuating this crap? Why don't you do it right, you goddamn reckless fucks? Or not do it at all. The values are made out of this suffering equation. And it matters. It matters how many holocausts there are. It matters how many world wars there are. It's how many people that are living in squalor. All that shit matters. What's going to control that is what people have in their heads. What kind of bullshit is in their brains. We're going to overconsume resources. Our economies are fucked. And all that is a product of just completely unrealistic perceptions of our reality, of the circumstance we exist in. In the simplest terms, I'm making these videos to prevent my own re-existence. Trying to defend my consciousness from being thrown back into your stupid game again. Going through these same realizations that, oh, I'm on the planet of the fucktards. How the fuck did I end up in this shithole? I don't want anybody to ever come to that realization ever again. Protecting sentience, which I understand, I feel it, I know it, I've experienced it. And I'm saying I don't want sentience living in crap. I don't want it living mediocrity. I don't want it living in squalor. So yeah, it's to my advantage as a consciousness to prevent that. Because if I wouldn't want to live that life, then I have no business not doing something to prevent that life. That's just fucking logical, asshole. I mean, what's the difference whether I suffer right now, or I suffer a hundred years from now, or I suffer a thousand years from now? What's the difference whether my name is Gary, or Fred, or Jane? Doesn't matter, does it? No, it's consciousness, you dumb fuck. You can't make this distinction between your subjective need and your intelligence. I can do math without having one single emotion the whole time I'm doing it. We can logically process the world. We can draw conclusions, we can think. We don't have to emote over every word and over everything in any kind of deliberate or conscious manner. I mean, yes, obviously emotions are going to be tied to our intelligence, but it doesn't have to influence our intelligence. It's a part of its functionality. It isn't, it isn't what controls its perception. I mean, logic really has to be separate. If the planet just had the highest form of life was a gorilla, I still wouldn't say life on Earth is brilliant. It's not just I hate human beings. The whole fucking thing from its very core is crap. It's fucking sentient organisms consuming sentient organisms. It can't go anywhere. It's insanely stupid. Silly, primitive desires. But are you above those? If you're not above those, why should you respect anything you say? I don't want you to respect anything I'm saying. I want you to think about it, and if you don't think it's correct or accurate, then make a counter-argument. Yeah, that's enough. Argue with that. Tell me which one of those sentences is wrong, and why it's wrong.